Harare, a fine second test century by Sean Williams enabled Zimbabwe to dominate the opening day of the second test against Sri Lanka at the Harare Sports Club on Monday, as they reached 352 for six at the close. The Zimbabwe captain, who won the toss and chose to bat first, made 107 from 137 balls, an innings which swung between the swashbuckling, with 10 fours and three sixes, and the pragmatic. He was well backed up by Brendan Taylor who made a run of ball 62 and Sikander Raza who hit two sixes and four fours in his 72. Looking to bounce back from last week's 10-wicket defeat at the same venue in the first test, Zimbabwe pressed on in the evening with Regis Chakaba on 31 and debutant Tinotenda Mutambodzi on 10. After the early losses of Prince Masvor and Craig Irvine, Taylor began the counterattack, hitting 10 fours and 1-6 over long off from left-arm spinner Lasith Imboldenia in his brisk knock. Taylor scored the Lions' share of the runs in a 65-run partnership with opener Kevin Casuza, who played in spite of being substituted for the second innings in last week's first test after being hit on the head while fielding at short leg. Casuza batted through the morning before losing his off stump to Saranga Lakmal for 38. Lakmal, who bowled superbly in the first test, produced another fine delivery to remove Taylor, nipping one back to peg him leg before. Williams began swiftly galloping to 36 from just 36 balls. He slowed slightly to reach his third test half-century and found a handy partner in Raza. Together they added 159 for the fifth wicket as the Sri Lankans struggled to plug the gaps in the field. The breakthrough came when Raza went for a big heave off left-arm spinner Lasith Embaldenia and picked out a tumbling Angelo Matthews at long on. Williams went on to bring up his second test century, his first was against New Zealand in Bulawayo four years ago, by sweeping Embaldenia for four. He gave it away in the next over, however, when he attempted to slog a straight ball from Donajea da Silva over midwicket and was bold. Sri Lanka took the new ball immediately but were unable to make further inroads as Chakaba and Mutambodzi batted watchfully through to the close. The visitors had begun the day well with Lahiru Kumara finding the edge of Masvare's bat for nine before Irvine nudged De Silva to short leg where Oshada Fernando snapped up a sharp catch. Zimbabwe made two changes to the side that lost the first test with Carl Mumba replacing the injured Kyle Jarvis and all-rounder Mutambodzi, who bowls leg spin, coming in for his test debut ahead of Ainsley and Lovu. Sri Lanka made one change with left-arm pace bowler Vishwa Fernando coming in for Kasun Rajitha. Zimbabwe made it into the final hour on the fifth day of the first test but lost on their return to the international arena having been briefly suspended by the International Cricket Council last year because of government interference. Scoreboard. Zimbabwe, first innings. P.S. Masvor C. Dikwela B. Kumara 9 K.T. Kasuza B. Lakmal 38 C. R. Irvine C. O. Fernando B. De Silva 12 B. R. M. Taylor L. B. W. B. Lakmal 62 S. C. Williams B. De Silva 107 Sikander Raza C. Matthews B. Embaldenia 72 R. W. Chakaba not out 31 C. T. Mutambodzi not out 10 extras B. 8 L. B. 2 N. B. 1 11 total for 6 W. K. T. S. 90 overs 352 fall of W. K. T. S. 1 to 21 2 to 49 3 to 114 4 to 133, 5 to 292, 6 3 to 4 to bat D T Tirapano, V M Niauchi, C T Mumba. Bowling to date: Lakmal 176312, 1 N B M V T. Fernando 141450, Kumara 153461, Imboldenia 303131. De Silva 140672. Sri Lanka, FDM. Karunaratne, BOP. Fernando, BKG. Mendes, AD Matthews, LD. Chandamal, DM De Silva, N. Dikwela, RAS. Lakmal, L. Imboldenia, MVT. Fernando, CBRLS. Kumara. Umpires, Aleem Dar, Pakistan, and NN. Menon, India. TV umpire, El Rusere, Zimbabwe. Match referee, J. Srinath, India.
Please subscribe our YouTube channel Listen News here. If you like the video please like, comment and share the video.